So these are expensive. We scanned them. I have no idea about them. The Pokemon card. With so many great items that we got, the the Nintendo Switch was yes, it's one of the one of the top hitters. Nothing but nice kids clothes. This is a well-rounded truck. From our experience, this is gonna be a truck that it's gonna be a base hit. You know. What's cracking, YouTube? And here we are for another video, another update, another truck load um we are cash flow fam we are target freight buyers and liquidators and what we do is we buy target and we buy and we break it down and we resell it on different avenues so today we're just going to be getting another truckload and hey babe want to say hi hi guys happy new year's oh yeah happy new year's but yeah we're going to be getting a truckload in and um yeah bringing you guys along so you guys get an idea what type of merchandise comes in a truckload and what to expect when you are buying a truckload. So this is our warehouse prior to getting the truckload in. It is uh, what I consider empty. Let this head super empty as well. So you guys can get an idea prior to us getting the truckload what it looks like. See all the clothes here. Oh, yeah, I see. Pretty bare. And we've been selling it at Swamp Meats. We've been selling it here. We've been selling it on Offer Up on on various places on our online platforms links i always try to link them below on our pages for our ebay or macari um but yeah that's the video prior to getting the truck we'll go ahead and show you guys a little update once we get the pallets in we are expecting the 28 pallets this time and it is january 3rd right Today's the second? Dang, I always get the dates wrong. Yeah, today's January 2nd. So, uh, to the one, one person that wrote the comment, I'm always off on dates. You are correct. I'm always off on dates. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see you guys a little later. Peace. I think it's 6.35. Uh, the same day as the introduction is the other video. We cleaned out most of the warehouse. Uh... I've been tetrising stuff in. Well, Letty's been tetrising stuff in, and I've been organizing. organizing stuff to start making room for the pallets. But I want to show you guys how the pallets looks as soon as they get off the truck, so you guys get an idea what to look for. Or, hey man, like, like when we were first buying truckloads, one of the big questions we would have was, or when we were buying pallets, is why is that pallet so small? Or um you know you'd always wonder but i guess when you when you buy the truckloads you get everything so you get really large pallets you get odd looking ones so again this is a 28 pallet truck so it's a 28 pallet truck and basically whenever you're buying target pallet returns they're always going to have these green labels on them now i i noticed in my past videos on truckloads that i get screwed on these labels were always wrapped over. Uh, and I've noticed the trucks that have come out stellar, the labels have always just been on top. So I guess like this right here, this is a good example of being the label being wrapped over. Maybe the pallet broke or whatever it may be. But when the whole truck has all the labels wrapped over like that, that's probably a red flag. Uh, you see, look, I can... See, I can walk past and you can see these labels here, how they're just on top. So, but yeah, this is a 28 pallet truckload. As you can see, it's uh, this one here counts as two. Even though it's smaller than this one, this one is still a two pallets for that. So yeah, you see there's one, two, three, four. Letty was breaking one down over there. Five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28 would be the one way back here. This is a well-rounded truck from our experience. This is gonna be a truck that we are gonna, it's gonna be a base hit, you know. We don't know where it's at yet, but we do know it's gonna be a money maker. And we do see a just a mixture of merchandise. There is some seasonal in here. Uh, there is some Christmas. We did see a Christmas tree here and there. Uh, we did get maybe about 20 of these. Hello. Yeah, we did get 20 of those squishmallows. So we got quite a few of them. But uh, yeah, this is a, a truckload. This is 28 pallets again. We'll bring you guys along once we break down the whole truck and give you guys a full, well-rounded video on what came out on this truckload. Just from the looks of it, babe, what do you think? Just from the looks of it, what do you think about this truck? Um, we got in so far in the two pallets that I've broken down. It's been nothing but toys. We got uh, four boxes full of this style of squishmallows. A lot of like big, nice, expensive toys. What else did we get? We got a microwave oven. A lot of the toys that we have here now, and they're completely new. Some of them are a little beat up, but they're completely new. Um, we got a lot of hair stuff, a lot of... Um, accessories and all that really really pretty stuff look all the baby clothes another plus getting nothing but nice kids clothes like that super does look nice good. and the rest of it the other one that i've been pulling now it's been coming in the little target plastic bag so it's been good so far so good and that's just one pallet right or two 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 pallets so well i'm almost done with the second nice but yeah. so and the toddler beds too we got like five of them oh yeah we got some of these toddler beds I'm gonna kick our daughter out of our bedroom it's pretty cool but um yeah we'll see you guys uh a little later once we have the whole truck broken out and we have it making just stellar in here and it looks great and all the merchandise is out so yeah we'll bring you guys along and uh thank you guys for joining us Aaron, we'll see you guys later peace or if anything comes out in between that i think it's pretty cool to filming we'll film it right babe yes or we'll post a picture of it or peace guys what's cracking youtube and we're back it is now a friday and uh it took us a total of four days to break down that truck with lots of help from my sister-in-laws uh the cash flow fam elves they were here to help out a lot um but uh we managed to break out the truck we just did our instagram live video inviting our clients in for sunday so um here's a little update to let youtube know what came in this week's truck check that out youtube uh we got a lot of good stuff in this truck so if you like we talk about all the time if you go into the video when we first start the video and you see how much merchandise we had um and then you compare it to how much we have now you get an idea how much merchandise comes in these truckloads so tons of great merchandise let me run by it and you guys can take a look at it and see what came in so we'll go by the walls first and then we'll go through the middle and we'll talk about what that came in there. So a lot of a lot of good looking bed sheets. A lot of nice bed sheets, a lot of nice comforters. Uh, I believe the top ones here were from this truck. 
The toys were really nice. This is a really nice desk. See, it's just really good mixture of stuff. Reefs, I mean, just, well, the reefs were there. I'm just trying to pump it up now, huh? That's a juicer that came in. We didn't have that before. Uh, those pillows came in here. We do $3 pillows all day. Uh, razors. The little cars. Those pillows came up. Those were like some very high-end deluxe pillows. And then uh, here, we got a dresser here. Little baby toddler beds. We did get uh, one pallet, two pallets, three pallets of clothing. These that are wrapped in orange. These are all uh, clothing right here. So look at this little painter thing. So we are saving uh, four pallets for next week of general merchandise just because we running out of space. See, we had to put some on the bottom, put some on the top. This one had a, uh, a, good, a good amount of uh, chonies in there. And then it did have a good amount of shoes. So clothing was, was a good, came out good here. We like clothing here. See, so here's the other side of the truck. So animal food. And here's the pallets. Two bicycles came in. That was pretty cool. Like we said, pallet of clothing, pallet of clothing, pallet of general merchandise, general merchandise, general merchandise, general merchandise. A basketball court came up. So let's see here. So this is two chairs, this nice rug. All these rugs came out. So like we said, just a mixture of good stuff. Diapers, wipes. And again, like we'll we'll talk, we'll show you guys a little later uh what came in the uh what we consider high-end merchandise that we sell. We sell from home, like I said, I always say we have those links below to our eBay and our Mercari. We have Poshmark and we have uh, uh, other selling platforms, but I'm not here to sell you guys my stuff. I'm here to you guys just to show you guys our journey because this is a tough game. I mean, last year we brought you guys along and it almost took us out of business. We were losing so much money on those trucks. We, we, we almost lost. Uh, thankfully, we we managed to just maintain there, and we had a lot of help and support from our families. They helped us keep us afloat. And then, uh, with a little YouTube research, we found a new distributor, and it's changed a lot for us. And the stuff that we have in our front little office. I mean, like we said, it was a well-rounded truck really stellar and I will go over the uh, the stuff that came in at home show you guys that stuff cool cool beans see rugs we like rugs it's just tons of stuff in there all 
Oh, and then my sister-in-law, she's so creative. She makes these little baskets just to give people ideas about uh, Valentine's Day that's just around the corner. She can make these knickknacks here at these, out of our warehouse and give it as a gift basket. I thought that was pretty neat. But yeah, I'll take you guys uh, once we're back home and show you what we have there. Oh, wait. You ever wonder where all our old clothes goes? From the stuff from last week? It's all stuffed in here. Those are all just pallets, and I mean not pallets, bins of clothing. What's cracking YouTube and we're back at the house with the full round of video of the uh, truck breakdown. It's a couple days later. And hey Ramona, you guys wanna say hi to Ramona? Come here Ramona. Good girl, come on. Good girl, say hi Ramona. Say what's cracking YouTube? What's cracking? Hey, say hi YouTube. Say hi baby, say hi, hi YouTube. Hi YouTube. Did you say what's cracking? What's cracking? What are you doing, baby? Watching TV. Watching TV? What are you watching on TV? Are you watching YouTube? Yeah. Okay, baby. I'm watching YouTube channel. Okay, say bye, baby. Bye. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, uh, the reason we do this. But um, like we were talking about the four round video, I want to bring you guys into our home office so you guys can take a look at what we have, what came in this week's truck. It was an awesome truck. It was a, I wouldn't call this one a base hit. I would call this one a home run. Uh, it could even be a, I would consider a bases loaded home run uh, type of deal. But let me show you guys what came out high end. So I know to you guys it looks like a mess, but to me it's a organized pile of money just waiting to get shifted through. So just to walk you guys through what came in this week was a bunch of Lego. So uh, and then these screen covers have been doing good as well. So that's one. Oh, it's a lot of Apple products came in too. A Nintendo Switch came out as well. I forgot about the Nintendo Switch. With uh, with so many great items that we got, the the Nintendo Switch was yes, it's one of the one of the top hitters. But yeah, we got a Nintendo Switch on this one, and we got lots of Legos. My wife and I were just separating stuff that she's listing on Macari and uh, her platforms. And stuff what I'm listening on my platforms. And I was like, it's a great opportunity to show YouTube what we got and give you guys a run the video. But yeah, look, you see, we got all these Legos. I still got to go through them to make sure they're complete. And videos. Let me put that in my video pile over here. And yes, those are sealed autograph cards. Graph card collectors are probably hating me for this pile on top of this let me get that uh, let them hate so yeah <laughs> there's the... and then we got two face another just and then that's for my wife wife's pile but yeah you see this lego here another lego set the x-wing starfighter Got a few. Oh, this pile of uh, books. I'm a book fan. Let's see, and then records. Foo Fighters, Taylor Swift. So, just awesome, stellar stuff came in this week's truck. Remember, this is just one box. That I'm showing you guys that is considered high end on our end. And then this one. This Home Alone Lego set. Another. Just. Another. Another just masterpiece of item. I just. 
sick with it. It's good. It's gonna make money. And then uh, dropping everything after I just organized it. other set of lego stuff so you know star wars more action figures three of these harry potters that was cool and like we said we got a lot of cool a lot of good electronics headphones tunies these I like tactics. So I was just gonna put that together and sell that at the Swami. I couldn't let that go to waste. Tech Tech reminds me of what all the kids had in school that I could never afford. But all the cool kids had it. But uh, check this out. This is a mega box that came out. So these are expensive. We scanned them. I have no idea about them. So, in the movies that came out, really good movies, PlayStation games, Blu-rays, Switch games, just, and then books, croquet books, cooking books, all the books, we love books. And then let me show you guys some of the Apple products we got, oh, some of the new Stanleys that came out. And then the headphones, that's a speaker, a bow speaker. Again, more DVDs and we're just shifting through everything now. And I just want to show you guys this last thing under here, under this box, because it was I thought it was pretty cool. So this also came out. These little things, the whole box of these adopt me mystery pets. See if we lot them up, if we sell them individually. <laughs> but that's what I was trying to get to. The Pokemon cards. We'll see how these go. I was trying to look comps on eBay and I didn't see any comps. But these seem to be always popular with people selling Pokemon that cards are always the thing. Ink always sells. Even if it's expired, expired ink can sell. I used to just throw it away into tons of Pokemon cards. Tons of these boxes. So yeah, I mean, it's just, we got lots of good stuff in this one. Lots of good stuff. This is a uh, poker uh, chips set. So that was pretty cool tool as well. I got to look up comps on that. But I wanted to get this video edited and get this video out for you guys. Lots of good stuff came out on this truck. And this one right here, this whole box is my wife's clothing. Um, like she says, we list on the Macari on the... And those selling platforms. So, Hi, everybody. Hope hello. everybody's doing good. Yeah, so I brought her in for the end of the closeout. Oh. I didn't even talk about that. I just saw it on the video. Oh, the iPad. Yeah, we got a it. pencil too. And then watch. we got a watch. So we got a watch. This is actually an Apple box of Apple fall. products that we got. I just didn't. I totally forgot to bring it up during the uh, the whole merchandise. But yeah, we got an iPad. We got a watch. We got a pen, and we got some of those. The AirPods. We got two of the AirPods. We got a lot of nice bedding. Which I started selling. I don't know if Frank mentioned it, but I started selling now on Poshmark, and it's been great on there for anything that has to do with like bed sheets, uh, shower curtains, anything like the high end stuff. I've been selling it. I'll try to put there. your Poshmark link up. Yeah. Um, no way, what else did we get? Like a lot. The... We got a lot of the nice, uh, the Kate Spade, um, like these. 
like these kind of um phone cases and i sell these like pretty good i usually sell them for 15 to 20 bucks like an easy money and it's easy to ship because it's like small and it doesn't weigh a lot yeah so but yeah thank you guys thank you guys thank you guys for all the constant support um <laughs> we're literally i feel super blessed because we started the year off with this truck unexpectedly we were waiting for this truck or we were expecting for it to come sometime next the the week the upcoming which week which would be like yeah, the 15th january 15th yeah 20th. like the 15th we were ah, around it. that time we were we were not expecting it and yeah. um we got a lot of great stuff so it's a great way to start the year off and hopefully we just continue on up from here yeah and we're gonna bring youtube along for the ride mm -hmm. so yeah let's we're excited we're pumped up and yeah uh hope you guys like this video and comment like and subscribe and we appreciate everyone that continues to watch and we appreciate everyone because we see it on the channel we're getting a lot more views on it so thank you guys yeah and we feel we're getting better too at the whole reselling still yeah. a learning process every yep. day for us yep. um we try to make it the best that we can and with what we can because that's like the only way to go but thank you guys thank you guys for the constant support and love we appreciate each and every one of you guys peace